while we're out trying to get level seven techs. I am in Termina with Korcha. This is another world. We're very close to the end of the first disc and Korcha is interested with what's in this tank. Hey you, can you hear me? If you don't try to get yourself out of there, nobody's ever gonna help you. Do you get that? Hey, don't try pulling any funny ideas, Korcha. All right, so once that is done, we need to leave the screen and come back. Because something's going to happen, as I'm sure you might imagine. Zap is along with me so that I can make rainbow equipment. We need to talk to you. Korcha, my precious treasure ran away because of your careless comments. What are you going to do about it? Jeez! Don't bother me, all right? Gotta hurry and clean up. Got no time to waste around here. Is there something you want to trade? No, I don't want to trade. I like that she just goes right back into it. There's no one inside. Even though she has lost possibly her main attraction, she's right back into business mode. And as you can see, the mermaid has spawned down here. So, hey, Korcha, since uh, you and Kid don't seem to be working out so well, maybe you want to give the mermaid a try? After all, you did save her. There's that sword just glaring at me. There's nothing I can do with you. But, Korcha. Sir Korcha, thank you. Who the ch are you? I don't remember doing anything to be thanked for. I am the mermaid who was caged at the show tent. I finally got a chance to escape. Uh, you're that mermaid. Yeah, that's great. Your words came as an eye opener to me. I used to think that one day someone would come to my rescue. But if I do not try to become free me myself, no one will ever lend me a hand. Sir Karcher, you were the one who showed me that. Maybe I said a little too much. Yeah, seriously. Like, that's, that's a little extreme, but sure. But you understand, right? Don't you ever get caught by a guy like that again. That was a guy? He had some serious man boobs going on then. Duh, I understand. I do not know how I can ever thank you for what you have done, but... I would like to give you a prayer to improve your fishing skills. Yeah, he needs it. I have heard many rumors that you are a fishing maniac. <laughs> oh, that's not good if random people know how crazy into fishing you are. But Korcha has received big catch from the mermaid's prayer. We got ourselves a level seven, level seven tech out of that. Thank you, thank you very much. I pray that I may see you again sometime. Did I get like a number? Take care, but just remember, I'm not a maniac. Yeah, why don't you scream that a little bit louder? It'll make people believe you a little bit more. All right, let's go ahead and allocate that on to Gorcha here. Level seven tech, big catch. A special lure to catch the one that got away. I didn't know so much of him was wrapped up in this kid thing. All right, we'll, we'll allocate that, and then we will head out. It is time to leave here. There's still nothing I can do with you, Sword. Uh, and we are going to head for Fossil Valley, probably. You know, you know forget. We'll go somewhere else to try to show that off. I do want to show off uh, Korcha's level 7 tech. I do know that there are a few fortune tellings that I need to show off. I'm probably just going to save those until uh, the big fortune telling thing at the end. There's only a few more to go through. Can't fast forward through the victory screen. They want you to know about the music that's being played. You just have to know about it. All right, this place sucks. Let's leave. Let's go to a place where, you know, I can actually get up to level seven without killing everything. Hey, look, Fossil Valley. Hey, these guys are good. The Tutan Shamans. Or Tutan Samans. Whatever they are, they're going to die. There's a few of them. All right, Korcha, you are up. Do what you can here. 
See, look, a one, two, three, and they didn't die. That's always good. All right, you just defend. Korcha is now ready. Korcha, big catch. He only hits a single enemy, which honestly, for a level seven tech, I prefer a special lure to catch the one that got away, which apparently is this guy. Just under a thousand damage, that is not bad. I do have to say though, your, your, your fishing pole, it, it's got a ton of flexibility to it. What do they call it, Act action? It's been a while. It's been a while since I w I've gone fly fishing. Yeah, just poke it until it's dead. All right, so that is Korsh's level seven tech. I believe that is the last thing that we are going to see before we head for disc two. So I will meet you in disc two as I get a ton of money that I probably don't need anymore. Hooray! Back on disc two, it is now time to take on the second of three possible bosses here in the Fate Distortion. We are back in another world. Remember last time I went to past and future first and then went to present last? We are now going to save future for last and hopefully we will get a different boss. That is the goal, even though, to be honest, the first boss that we fought is the best one because of Vigora, which we got out of it. This is Clotho, spinning the thread of life. Away with you, Pyramid. Oh, there I went. It's not going to boomerang back to us, is it? And once again, I do have the strongest attacker and best well, mage, I guess you could say, with us. Highest attack, highest, well, highest strength, highest magic in the party, and that is Fargo and Riddell, respectively. Although, uh, Orlha is tied with Fargo. I feel like we've seen enough Orlha for at least a little bit. All right, so future is next. Or sorry, this is past. Uh, we're saving future for last. This one is past, Atropos, cutting the thread of life. Away from me, triangles. And away they go. So we only have one more to go. Uh, whichever one you go to last is going to determine which boss you get. So by going to this one last, future, we will see what boss we get. It's not going to be too big of a surprise, but. Uh, last time, if you remember, the boss that we fought was Vita Unis. Like, one one life, first life. This is Lachesis measuring the thread of life. And you got somebody making the thread, you got somebody measuring it, and you got somebody cutting it. The pyramids have come back for revenge. Art thou worthy of accepting fate? I will try to defeat fate, as it turns out. Are we being tested? Yes, we are. Now I have elements allocated on the rest of the party, but I pretty much just used filled blanks and I didn't even bother giving them the proper equipment. I think uh, Fargo does have a stone sword though, but uh, outside of that, it's pretty much just gonna be the Surge show. So we're up against Vita Duo, as opposed to Vita Unis. So we're gonna have Fargo uh, start this off by attacking as well as he can. Damn it, you're supposed to have the highest attack here. Naturally, at least. Surge will be doing more damage overall, but uh, he's supposed to be doing some good work for me. Let's pillage. Another reason why Fargo is here. All right, what did I get? A white brooch, that is not bad. Uh, you can also get a holy healing off of it, but uh, the white brooch might be more useful for me. As you can see, Riddell, no slouch herself. Sometimes, oh no, Eagle Eye. Now, he, now it'll never miss. It'll never miss that cure, which I don't think you can miss, but it's going into the fireball. Once again, I don't think you can miss elements. 
I haven't seen it happen, and I've been playing quite a bit. All right, Riddell, do you have anything that I really care about? Sure. You know what? I don't need to heal. Um, Electro Jolt sounds good. Why not? Do some kind of magic for me. That's why you're here. 126. <laughs> do better magic. Surge, show them how it's done on both ends here. Uh-oh, volcano. As you can see, it still does quite a bit of damage. And Clotho has stopped functioning. We're gonna have Surge go in and do more work. We'll have Riddell heal later. As you can see, I still do need to, you know, try here. It's not like it's always going to be easy, but there's, there's a certain point where I can get through the majority of the game without necessarily even really trying. And this still isn't really trying, but I do need to, you know, pay attention here. Into a Cure Plus. And Atropos has stopped functioning. All right, let's go for uh, Invincible. And once again, we'll have Riddell heal. One of the reasons why she is here. Damn, over a thousand damage. Surge is falling behind. Like I said, I don't even really have Fargo equipped. Bass and Slash didn't hold up. We'll have to see what Flying Arrow does. Shouldn't do too much more, to be honest with you. All right, you landed the one, two, three. That's what I like to see. All right, let's go for your level three right now. Snake eyes, please heal everybody. Thank you, Riddell. That was more than I needed, but thank you nonetheless. 